Hey divers, what's going on? Hey, today we're going to be talking about risk management. You're like, risk management, what is that? It sounds super boring. It can be, but it can also be very important to save your life. All right, stay tuned. What's your adventure? Ah. Hey divers, what's going on? So why are we talking about risk management today? Well, bottom line, we've had a few incidents happen here in Florida over the last couple of weeks. You know, we've had divers go to chambers. We've had divers that, you know, perish because of their, their dives. And I'm not gonna get into that too much, but I'm gonna talk about things that can prevent that from happening. Scuba diving is a very safe sport, but we have to remember we are visiting another planet and we're not going to stay there forever and we have limited time and there's a bunch of different reasons why. Yeah, so this it's super boring, but we need to talk about it. Uh, first off, you're going to go diving, let other people know your plan. You know, let your family, it's like putting in a float plan for a boat. You know, let other people know what you're doing or where you're going or what, what exactly you want to do and have a no later than time that you'll contact them when you get out uh, and have a buddy. I know there's uh, different agencies and different folks that got there to do the solo diving and if you've got the train do that, more power to you, but have a buddy. Why not? This is, this is a, as far as I'm concerned, this is a team sport and you want to have fun doing it. Uh, two, gear. Let, let's say no to the garage sale gear, all right? And the biggest thing is, does this thing look like it's ready to go in the water? Not saying it's bad because this is a Conshell 14, I can rebuild this thing and be good to go. It'd be a great regular. But I've seen divers show up at dive sites with stuff that they got from their grandpa's yard sale. I mean, at one time, this was probably good gear, but when was the last time it had to be And maintenance and dive gear has to be done annually for those in the back and including you Carl that means once a year once a year you have to go in and have that stuff surface three the dive site you know what do you know about the dive site what are the risks where are the pitfalls where are the dangers uh, for you professionals out there you can chime in on this one what's your emergency action plan how are you going to get that an injured diver up how are you going to get an injured diver out? How are you going to get an injured diver to where a point where EMS can come in and do their job? Because yeah, we're all, uh, if you're good, you've got your AED, O2 kit, trauma kit, everything like right there as close to the dive site as possible, but we're not paramedics. We're not paramedics. We're not docs and nurses. We don't have life flights in the hospital. So we're going to, at that point, we're going to hand off to medical professionals. And lastly, number four, your pre-dive checks. You've got two different kinds of pre-dive checks. What I teach is you check your own gear yourself. This is like when I was a uh, paratrooper in the army. Yeah, I checked my gear. I checked my parachutes myself before I put it on. And then I had somebody else come and do a check on me. Well, it's the same thing with diving. I put my gear together. I do a three breath check looking at my pressure gauge just to make sure the system's working correctly. Then we get into the pre-dive buddy check where I do that same thing in front of my buddy. And he does the same thing. I've seen other wacky variations of that. That's a that's a something for another video. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have any comments that are constructive, please leave them below. If not, let's go out and have a great summer diving, okay? All right, I'll see you out there. What's your adventure? Ah!